Hello, welcome back, Georgia B cards and stuff. Today I'd like to show you how to make this card. Um, I made this card using a retiring set, retiring as it is going, and a new set. Um, this one is called Butterfly Brilliance, and I didn't actually bring it over with me. Hang on a minute. The reason I didn't bring it over is because it is one big stamp and it is one great big die which is in a packet and I have already stamped and cut out a load of butterflies so they've just come out of this box well they didn't, I actually stamped them for this card and put the rest in the box so that is the stamp set and also pretty per perennials I'm using the word happy, that big flower and for you oh and the dotted little flower for my cards I've got loads Soft sea foam, no. Seaside spray, retiring, of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. A piece of white, a basic white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside. A piece of crumb cake at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And I've got some strips of paper. These are the in colour from last year I think, I don't think they're this year's last year's which I'm using up and these are a quarter of an inch wide by six inches obviously because that's what the pack is and then I've got this one Night and Navy but this is too short and I have no other Night and Navy so I cut two strips and what I'm going to do is cut them in half and have a little seam in the middle but under there it's hidden so that's what I'm going to do with that I've also cut out a heart this here in crumb cake because it was too big to go in my little mini machine and we've got to cut out some leaves the flower once it's stamped and this little thing and the happy so my butterflies are oh I obviously didn't take them out so we want little butterflies that one and a bigger one can't remember what no it's too big this one yeah and that one right they've got to be coloured in which we'll do afterwards let's do our stamping so I've got some scrap white here um, and we're going to stamp we're going to stamp our flower first And we're going to stamp the word happy for you. How 
happy. down there for you and then we just need this one. I think that's all we need stamping wise right we need to cut this off pull it over there right that's ready to be chopped out and there fussy cut so bring this over and my plates and the die this is retiring now I've just actually figured out the way the flower goes the die goes on the flower typical right I also want this die so might as well cut that at the same time Of flower, come off. And there's our topper for the flower. Right now, I need to cut these so. Now this just fits on the um, plate, so the, I actually need two of these. all over the place with these. Right, there's one. Oh. Let's do it this way, the proper way. all these out. When I cut this on the big shot it actually all these little bits just fall out but on the uh, little one they don't. So move all them out. 
out of the way. Static, keeping them on the mats. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Right, no need to go back in the box. I have a feeling something's missing. What am I missing? Got the heart, got the leaves, got the butterflies, got the flower. Oh, got them. Yeah, that'll do. So with my paper snips, I am going to cut this out. And that's all I'm doing is going around it in a circle. Nothing fancy. Could have used a circle die to go around it. Make it neater. The reason I didn't do that is because I didn't think about it. But that's that. Now cut the happy out. You've seen me cut this out many times. Many times. I think I've used it about three times. But we've actually got our, I've actually got my freedom here. I'm allowed out to play. Went to visit my sister the other day. Because the silly sausage just broke her leg, foot. She's allowed a plaster off now, or boot. Didn't have a plaster on it, she had a boot on it. I remember when I broke my foot in, we were living in Liège in Belgium. And I broke it on a Sunday night. I fell in a pothole and I broke every bone in my foot. Went to a Belgium doctor, he x rayed it and said, Oh, nothing wrong with it. So on the Tuesday, I went to an RAF doctor who sent me to an army hospital in Germany and I never left that place for a week. And they kept me in because I'd broken all the bones in the foot and it was too swollen to plaster. So I had to keep me in until they could plaster it. Which didn't please my husband because he had to get time off work to look after the kids. Kids, two girls. Because the youngest one was 10 months old and I wasn't allowed to walk on my foot. <laughs> but we managed. Right. Now we're going to colour these in. I coloured one in Seaside Spray. I got that right this time. And 
um, Misty Moonlight, I think it was. What was this colour? Oh no, Night and Navy. Right. Cut the whole thing in. This isn't Seaside Spray. Didn't think so, it's Balmy Blue. Never mind, I've done it now. And then with Night and Navy, we just coloured in. Use this end. All I'm doing is colouring in the dark patches. And then the dots. Where are those black dots? And here's three. There's my blue butterfly. And the other one I did in crumb cake. Oh. Right. Nothing fancy on these butterflies today. Just a plain. And colour the body in. It's what I never did on the other one. Colour them in. And we have our butterflies. Let's just colour that body in of the this one with the night and navy. I think it's sticking down time. So these two don't need that for now. I'd say there. Yeah. Right. 
I want the writing paper first. And I'm going to put that right to the edge of the crumb cake. And then with the checkered paper, I'm going to overlap it a bit. Trying to keep it straight. And then with these two, Use the checker paper as a guideline. Thought I messed up then. Now uh, we have our paper on. And then we just trim that off. I've been choking on his tea again. Right. Now with our heart, we're just going to lay that on there like that. Just gives it an extra bit of dimension. Just at an angle. Now our next piece down is the leaves. Have one like that, and we're going to have one. And I'm going to take this one off. We're going to have that one there. Oh, it sticks out that way. Oh, well, this one went over there. So let's stick these down. I only put glue on the stems, right up the middle. And the same with this one. Glue right up the middle. the flower we've got to put this on you're right you're right mm. really concerned about my husband that I go rushing Now this I put on dimensionals, so where are they? Under my butterflies. Right. Now 
and this sits just there. And I'm not going to push it down just yet because I've got oh this also goes on a dimensional. I don't think this is a posting card. Um or butterflies. Right, with a pair of snips I'm gonna release its antennas which is easier now I'm going to get my bone folder and just bend the wings over and then once you press it in the wings will be like that but they will still flatten so I'm going to put a strip of dimensional on the inside of that wing. I've got these strips here and I'm going to put a strip there and half a strip there. And then I'm going to glue the body and the antennas. And I'm going to sit that down. And hold that while the glue dries. I'm going to do the same with the smaller butterfly, release its antennas and bend up its wings or bend down its wings and then bring up its body. And this is going to sit like that there. So I only need to put a strip there, or a little strip. Is that the right side? Yeah. and a tiny piece just across the top here to stop it flattening all together right This leaf here to be quick because it should have gone on first, but there they are. Bubba butterfly. That's it. Then we've got our word happy to put on. Try the right way. So we're going to put dimensionals on this as well. Right, we want mini ones. We got any new yeah. And I need one of these. Right, I'm going to put one there. Right, 
on the tail of the pea, because there's two of them, I'm going to put just a tiny strip of dimensional on there, on each. Oh, can't see that. You might think this is a bit fussy, but alright, that's it. So we'll take the backings off. And we're going to glue the tails and the H. No. And then the word for you, yep, is going under here. And I'm just going to glue that flat. In fact, I am going to go around the edge of it with my pen. I've just no, I thought I just drew on it. I can go under there like that. I didn't do that on the other one. And then we can stick this on our card base. Let's get rid of these. I do want to stick that. I don't think I did anything inside because happy for you could mean well, lots of different reasons why somebody's happy for you. And they can write their own little message. Now we've just got some gems to put on and my sister, when I went to her house, gave me these. I can't remember where she said she got them from. Craft stash, I think. That rings a bell. Two there, two there and one there.
too much glue on the okay now my glue dries clear bit different from the first one I put that higher up that's what it is yeah. hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.